Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you all are doing very, very well. This is me, Reshma Ravindran, and today we're going to talk about an interesting topic and also the most important topic for all the students coming to Canada. It's nothing but how to survive Canadian winters. But before we go into the video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because it means everything to me and that is what motivates me to make more videos and also follow me on Instagram and reach out to me. Let me know your comments and let's dive right into the video. As soon as you Google about Canada or you ask people about Canada, there's no way you're going to skip this part about talking about winters because it is how Canada is known across the world and there's no doubt about it it's a pretty cold country it will definitely be amongst the top three coldest countries across the world if you guys have been following me you guys know that I came to Canada in the month of September 2021 and it was fall at that time and the climate was amazing because at that time when I came in I was like the climate is just amazing because I come from a place where it's like hot throughout the year. I live in a 30 degree temperature climate all throughout the year. And then coming to Canada and it was like, you know, the temperature was somewhere in the 20s when I came in. just 21, 22 and sometimes even 18, 19. And it was still amazing because the climate was so refreshing and I really loved it because like I said, for me, it was lovely. In the, the fall season was so beautiful. But there were days when the temperature kind of went to 14, 15 and it was like cold for me already. And then uh, after a point of time, it kind of moved, you know, towards the end of fall, it came to 8 degrees and that's when I started to feel a bit cold. So even then, I was actually having a, a jacket that I got from India. Uh, so it was a very basic jacket, uh, so I just got it here and then I started using that for a while and it was fine, you know, 8 degrees, 7 degrees, 6 degrees, 5 degrees, everything was fine until it moved to basically minus 30. Even in the beginning of winters, I was like, okay, it's not that cold. Why are people making a huge fuss about it? But then after December, when January hit, that's when I actually understood what people were talking about all this while because it was horrible. And I think horrible is not the right word here because if there's anything bigger than that, I think I can use that also. Now, as a student, it could be really, really annoying to be at home the whole time. Maybe initially it, it could be fun to see the snow for the first time. But as the cold hits, you know that you won't be able to go outside a lot. And uh, because the temperatures, like, it goes really down to, I, I think at, at the maximum that I've experienced is minus 25. That's what I, I've actually seen. But it can actually go up to minus 30 or even minus 40. I don't think Toronto is that cold, uh, you know, it, I don't think it can go to minus 40 because I haven't seen that anything, but, but then I think it can go at least to minus 30. Most of the people here have cars, so obviously they, when they go to different places, they have cars, they, they really don't have to worry about the temperature, but then as students, uh, especially new students when you come here you don't have a car you will have to either take public transport or walk to the place you want to go and during winters it could be really bad because first of all the weather is bad and second of all it, everything is covered with snow and there could be black eyes everywhere you could trip and fall it's completely uh, everything just is like hazardous to me uh, during winter as a student you might feel winter blues uh, because I, in the beginning, I actually thought that winter blues is just some crazy story people tell. I don't think it's true and all that. But then when I came here, I, I could actually feel it. The, the, I just didn't feel like going out and staying at home. The entire day was really depressing most of the days and I just didn't like it. And to be quite honest, January and February was pretty bad. I just wanted these months to get over 
ASAP. And now that we are finally uh, officially into spring, I think I can actually talk about how the winter was and how I actually survived this winter and how it was and how as a student you can survive winters here in Canada. Let me first talk about your clothing because that is very very important because you will have to go out anyways no matter what you will have to go out uh, so in that case just make sure that you are completely covered up even if you want to go play in the snow and everything if you are completely covered up you don't really have to worry at least for the initial days you will feel a lot excited when you see the snow but it could get a little monotonous and boring as the days go by but initially it's so exciting and you just want to play in the snow but you will have to do it very safely so i'm just going to tell you how the clothing works uh, so that you can actually have fun in the snow too so the first layer that you will be wearing could be a thermal wear uh, so no thermal wear is something uh, you know that can be useful for extreme temperatures like let's say you are going out uh, beyond minus 10 let's say you're going out in minus 15 minus 16 during that time when you're wearing a thermal wear it could really really help you thermal wear is something like uh, you can actually google it and you will find it uh, you will you can get it in either wool material cotton or it's even available in synthetic but it's better to go with synthetic because it's the affordable option and also it keeps you like pretty warm so now this synthetic wear is something that you can either get from India or you can also get it from here. I got it from Decathlon from India. So here you can also get it at Walmart or Winners. These are like really affordable places where you can actually get good thermal wear. Now this will act as the first layer inside, I'm talking about extreme winters. Uh, let's say if the winter, you know, sometimes it could be somewhere around the uh, seven eight degrees uh, so in, in in that case i don't think you will require a thermal wear thermal wear is something that that is really really helpful during you know negative temperatures yeah so after the thermal wear the next layer obviously you will be wearing any type of clothes like this uh, or like you know sweaters or sweaters or whatever you want to wear anything that can you know keep you warmer so whatever you want to wear that is the next layer and finally you have the third layer which is the winter jacket now i have lots to tell about this uh yes do not buy winter jackets from india you can maybe buy uh, you know a basic jacket uh let's say you're coming in the month of uh, december or january obviously uh, as soon as you get out of the uh, airport you definitely need an emergency jacket so in that case just get a normal jacket from India don't invest a lot on the jacket because whatever you buy it's definitely not going to handle the cold here uh, even with several insulations it cannot handle the cold that's here so it's better to come here and buy the jacket so that's one thing and get an emergency jacket as in get a backup jacket just so you come in the month of uh, you know like I said if you come in the month of um, winter so like you know January or December you will definitely need a winter jacket basically have like two types of winter jackets one is a parka type winter jacket and then you have a puffer type winter jacket uh, so you know there are good brands like Columbia and then there's North Face so depending upon your budget you can actually finalize on like one particular uh, winter jacket and mostly if you notice there are good winter jackets here a anything that can go up to at least minus 25 is a good one so make sure you invest in that uh, so the price range would be somewhere around 150 to 400 dollars or even 500 uh, sometimes in offers you might get it even at 100 dollars but whatever it is just make sure it's a good brand uh, so there are some things that you can actually follow to make sure that your winter jacket is like pretty good 
I would suggest you to get something that that actually goes below your knees at least at least it should touch your knee because uh, then you will feel much colder when you know everything gets covered obviously and uh, apart from that make sure your winter jacket is waterproof that's very very important during snow or whatever it is it has to be waterproof undoubtedly and then uh, make sure your winter jacket has a hood uh, because uh it's it's because obviously you want to cover your ears and uh, you obviously need a hood for that uh so that's it uh make sure that it's waterproof it has to have a hood and make sure it has like good insulation and mostly the coats will tell you the temperature that it can handle so buy good coats according to that so here there are like a lot of places i got my winter jacket from marks which is in uh you know sarnia which is in the lambton mall but apart from that there are other places like sports check winners and all these places they all have good jackets and gloves and boots so make sure you get the right ones so another option called uh, the value village which you can actually find in sarnia as well you can also find it in different parts of canada So Value Village, if you see, they will have second-hand uh, used jackets and all that. Uh, but then uh, it depends upon whether you're comfortable using that or not. Uh, you know, obviously, uh, you will not be having anything that's torn or like you know in a very bad condition. So there are different types of sizes. I uh, I cannot exactly tell whether you will actually get the right kind of size or not. But then make sure that. uh you just go around and see if you're comfortable with wearing uh you know used winter jackets but i uh, i would suggest if you get good winter jackets from there you can obviously get it otherwise always get a new one you're not going to waste any money on that to keep yourself warm just remember that you have to cover all this one is a uh, head obviously you can cover it with a cap or a beanie or anything that you get so that is a good option uh, next you, we obviously have good options for women they all look like very pretty and for men i really don't know <laughs> okay and then uh, post which you also have something uh, for your ears and then if you should have a scarf to cover the neck because all these places are the place that you will feel a bit cold so make sure you cover your head ears neck hands and feet these are the main parts that you have to focus on obviously you will have a coat over but apart from that you need to focus on all these places to make sure that you can handle the cold if you have been following my earlier videos you guys know that i actually got my first shoes from my owner who said it was like 20 dollars and i was so happy and i just got those shoes but then um, obviously it didn't work because it was not waterproof so the water started to come in and what now i can actually use it when there's no snow but most of the time you will actually have snow so you will need a good pair of shoes that can have good grip on the ice because most of the time you will see a lot of black ice uh black ice is nothing but like you know invisible ice uh, that you will not be able to see it like you know uh, in one glance but then uh when you walk on it and slip that's when you know you're actually standing on the black ice so a lot of this happens so first of all make sure you are like pretty safe uh while walking you have to be extremely careful even if you have the best grip on your shoes you have to be extremely careful while walking uh you don't want to break your legs or hand whatever it is so make sure you are extra careful and make sure you have at least a good pair of shoes that can uh you know handle the slipperiness of the roads and different places then i went ahead and got my shoes uh from marshall so the shoes will be somewhere around 80 to 100 or maybe even 200 whatever it is you can uh check it out depending upon the brand and everything the shoe that i got was somewhere around 80 to 90 dollars and it was a pretty good shoe and it did work out for me throughout the winter i'm talking about the second shoes next is gloves to be very very honest throughout the time one thing that i could not handle was you know the cold 
was actually hitting my hand a lot because it was so bad because uh, every now and then i if i had to take calls or if i had to check out the maps and everything i'll have to use my bare hands to like hold the phone and everything and it was super bad and every time i felt like almost my hand was going like entirely freeze and like it's it's, it's going to fall off and that's how i felt it was so bad and even now when i think about it my god it was terrible and the thing is uh, i actually got like you know a pair of gloves from decathlon which obviously did not work for me here so it's better to get gloves shoes and everything here maybe thermal wear yeah you can get from india that's fine but then everything else you have to come here and get it otherwise it's not going to work out for you uh so first of all you can get the gloves I got it finally I got it from Sports Check it was like a pretty thick gloves so this is the gloves that I'm talking about this is the one that I got from Sports Check this is a pretty good gloves I'm telling you this was such a life saver this was actually a bit expensive but then not that expensive this is $40 this gloves is basically $40 the one one reason i did not hesitate to buy this is because i was basically getting like you know two to three gloves and nothing was really working out for me because i was feeling cold and i i didn't know what to do this there's, there's no point you know having gloves in your hand and you're still feeling cold so the gloves that i got from india didn't work then i came here and i got a, a cheaper pair of gloves that was around what 20 dollars and that didn't work either Uh, and then one thing that really worked for me was mittens. Mittens was like so good. I think it's because obviously when your mittens would be like you know, uh, it will actually cover this entire part together, and your hands are always you know together. So obviously it's going to generate more heat to your body. So mittens was like pretty good. I really like that also. And this again is a pretty great uh, gloves from Sports Check. So I would strongly recommend this gloves. This is from I think it's Rip Zone. Yeah. This is a Rip Zone brand. This is a pretty good one so I'm going to suggest this to you guys. Obviously to cover your neck you can get like different cool scarves that you will find there. So any woolen scarf would work. So there's no particular specification or anything like that. So any cool a uh, woolen scarf would actually work but sometimes your winter jacket might actually uh, you know you will have buttons that can go up till here so even those buttons can work so some people might not need uh, a scarf and everything but then uh, i would suggest to wear a scarf it is it definitely keeps you a lot more warmer another thing is that you know back in our country since it's like hot or whatever it is You, we might drink a lot of water we will drink a lot of water and we're so gone I mean we're so used to it but then uh, after coming here we kind of don't drink water that much and it's it you know it kind of affects our entire body it affects us like you know in different ways so uh, maybe you might experience cold cough or that that's like part of health issues that come up and then digestion problems or whatever it is So maybe you can carry a couple of medicines you know basic medicines that can help you out here and also keep yourself hydrated it's very very important i know during winters you might not feel like drinking a lot of water but do drink a lot of water because that will keep you really really active throughout the winter this way everything is going to get like really really cold you will definitely need a good moisturizer i don't know like i i'm still searching for the right moisturizer here but then so i i kind of have like a combination type of skin so it's, sometimes it's a bit oily for me naturally but if you are like you know um a bit dry skin kind of person then obviously you will have to get good um you know like uh, moisturizers like vaseline or whatever it is uh, whatever like really works out for you so check that out and get a good moisturizer obviously lip balm because you know I mean your lips are going to get really bad you know what is one of the best moisturizers it's coconut oil you need coconut oil for everything 
you know whatever it is whatever your skin goes through it's it is only because your skin is getting dry so when you come here you might have a lot of abnormalities uh because you know you might have you might see like stuff that you haven't seen in your skin before uh maybe because some people's skin are sensitive so there could be something like that not like i'm not telling like everyone will have some kind of abnormalities like don't think that way so what i'm trying to say is you know you might face something like that so in that case the best moisturizer is coconut oil it it works like a magic whatever it is you apply coconut oil you can get it sorted so that is how it's been working out for me so far also get a good humidifier i personally still don't own it uh, but then i think that should be my next investment uh, because mainly because you know most of the times you are in heaters the air outside is cold and the air inside the house is like hot i mean what i'm trying to say it's 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 completely heated so it's there's no moisture in the air at all so your nose gets like really really affected because of that wherever you're going you will be surrounded with heaters and everything and there's no moisture in the air so obviously when you're breathing that your nose is something that gets really affected and obviously the tissues inside your nose will kind of you know tear and you might feel like you know when you're cleaning your nose and everything you might see a bit of blood doesn't mean oh my god i got cancer or whatever it is that's not <laughs> that's not happening to you don't worry so basically it's just that because of the uh, heat in the air you can actually see that not everyone experiences it some people do i do too because uh, first time i saw blood and i was like oh my god something is happening to me am i dying and all that but it's like very simple it's because of the hair so i mean air so basically get a good humidifier to make sure you have like moisture in the air so that you don't face all this so i think i'll have to invest in that also i know i have like you know said so many things to purchase but you know there's a great thing here in canada is that you know whatever you buy you get a a 14 to 15 day return period so basically if you use some any of the stuff and you are not entirely satisfied by it you can actually exchange it so that is a great policy here so basically every penny that you're going to spend is going to be worth it so now this is a whole process of how winter works here i think i've almost covered everything so this is the reason why i i always suggest people to come during the fall season uh, because you know uh, it it kind of gives you that transition period you know from a normal temperature a normal you know chilly temperature and then slowly moving into uh, uh, you know a pretty uh, cold temperature so so this is a good phase you know fall is a good time to come in probably yes of course summer too because you will slowly move into this uh, season and it's still like you know pretty good but when you directly land in in january or time like times like that everything is going to be like pretty difficult for you that is my uh, you know opinion uh, so that's why i constantly keep telling people to come earlier and you know uh, get used to the climate bef before actually hitting uh, into going into january i mean even if you are you know your intake is in the month of january make sure you like you know try to come in the month of december or at least before mid of december because you might you know get used to the temperature a little bit uh, because you will not feel like you're directly landing into uh, the winter time so try to come at least early in the month of december because december is not that cold only from january the actual cold begins so december is like pretty bearable so come during that time so that your body can actually get accustomed to this so i think i've covered almost everything uh for winter i hope that this was a guide for you guys and it is actually coming from a student so you know how everything works out for you as a student so come prepared you're going to have a lot of fun uh, and thank you so much for watching this video like i said don't forget to subscribe to my channel because that is what motivates me to make more videos so keep supporting do drop in your comments about what kind of videos you want me to do because i've been doing videos from your suggestions so keep 
dropping in comments i read all your comments and based on that i am still uh, you know making videos and thank you so much for supporting till date and bye bye take care